Sydney has some of the most incredible snorkeling in Australia, and this is your guide to some of our favourite spots. Starting off our list is one of Sydney's most northern points, Palm Beach. To get started, head down to the south end of the beach and swim out over the shallows past the rock pool. Keep an eye out around the interesting rock formations for some unique wildlife like cuttlefish and octopus. The entire site is very shallow and it's also home to an enormous population of friendly bull rays. Next up on our list is Shelley Beach. To get there, we hopped on a ferry from Circular Quay and walked around to Cabbage Tree Bay. This site is one of Sydney's most popular snorkeling destinations, and for good reason. Snorkelers are almost guaranteed a friendly interaction with one of the many blue groper, and they're likely to spot a range of other marine life, including wobbegongs, schooling fish, eagle rays, and giant cuttlefish. For any seahorse lovers out there, Clifton Gardens is a must-see. The entire site is no more than 2-3 to three metres deep and is home to one of Sydney's largest seahorse populations. Once you've spotted your fair share of seahorses along the swimming nets, be sure to have a look around the pylons and along the sand for octopus and some of the other unique species that call Clifton Gardens home. Travelling further south across the Harbour Bridge, we have Clavelli. This is one of Sydney's most beginner-friendly snorkeling spots and promises a range of fish life, clear water and a number of resident blue groper. Once you've checked out the marine world inside Clavelli Pool, just around the corner is another one of Sydney's classics, Gordon's Bay. This site offers some very similar wildlife to Clavelli Pool, with some notable additions, including Port Jackson sharks and wobbegongs. Now, you may recognise this next site from Mission Impossible 2, and you'd be right, welcome to Bear Island. To get to the island, we jumped in at Kong Long Beach and swam out over the shallows. Expect a range of fish life, and as you get closer to the island, starfish and smaller cuttlefish around the rocks. But better yet, on a clear day, you'll find some of Sydney's most impressive sponge gardens. Moving further south, we have Oak Park. As well as being one of the Sutherland Shire's best beaches, on a calm day it also offers snorkelers a lot to see beneath the surface. Jump in on the right hand side of the pool and swim out over the shallows. Keep an eye out for schooling fish, large rays, some beautiful sponge gardens and vibrant sea tulips, and the resident school of old wives. Our final spot on the list is Watermola down in the Royal National Park. The lagoon not only features an impressive waterfall, but also some excellent beginner-friendly snorkeling inside the lagoon. For those with more experience, head out into the crystal clear waters off Watermola Beach, which offers some larger species of fish, rays and other marine life. And there you have it. No matter your experience, it's time to check out Sydney's beautiful underwater world.